Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about and show you indoor mapping. This is a new application service now released on May 5th of 2022, and it directly relates to two applications, space management and reservation management. These are two apps within the workplace service delivery suite of applications, which is part of employee service management. So the use case here is you want to provide a visual floor map to your organization for them to make reservations or manage spaces and see things where they might want to have a meeting, a conference room, or a place to sit. So let's hop right to it. This is the store. You can see uh, this search for indoor mapping. It's available from ServiceNow as a standalone app, but you do need these other apps in order to use them um, so that you have the functionality. What's that functionality look like? Here's Employee Center. I'm gonna to go to Workplace up here at the top. Um, and again, if you have this application, we can go to Browse All Workplace. And you'll notice in the catalog, I've got a couple of items here for things like location directory, general reservations. Um, you could do stuff like reserve a space for a day, um, reconfigure an office space. So like that building and space management stuff or reservations that you might wanna manage. For this demo, I'm just gonna to go to the location directory. I wanna show you what these floor maps look like from an employee facing perspective. So let's move my head over here. We're going to go to San Francisco and I'm going to view all the buildings in San Francisco. I've got one and then I can jump to the interactive floor map. With these interactive floor maps, this uses, a, you can see it here, mapped in. So if you were a subscriber to these applications, you would work with the mapped in company. It's a separate subscription and they'd help you build these interactive floor maps from your CAD drawings or from whatever system you had those in and you could move between different floors and view the actual location. So notice in this particular level two, I've got all these rooms, these workspaces, and I can zoom in and actually see, oh, that's where it is in the corner there. And I have this, I could raise an inquiry or I could open that up and actually reserve that location. So this is a functionality that this indoor mapping actually supports. So if I come into the back end of ServiceNow and that application is installed now. Let me move my head back over to the right and I'll just search for indoor mapping. And you should see here now I've got a studio. Well, we'll, we'll pull that up again after I draw my box. Um, a studio, campuses, I got different layers. So um, when you're looking at a CAD drawing, there's these different layers for walls and uh, rooms and furniture and stuff like that. The place types, so is it a conference room? Is it a restroom? Is it a, um, a desk? Stuff like that. Uh, direction modes and connectors and icons and stuff like that. So you've got full configuration capability, not needing a separate service, it's in the platform. I'll hop over to the studio so you can see what that actually looks like. I'm not gonna add a new campus or anything, I'm just gonna jump into this demo campus, right? So luckily they provide us with some demo data so I can actually show what this looks like. Um, things you can do from the workplace, you can create a campus, you can create a building, you can create a floor. And if you want to manage it, you can go to the overview, which is what I'm on right now with behind me. Um, I could go directly to my campus and buildings, my floors and floor plans, my places and my directions. So um, sometimes you might want to have people be able to say, hey, how do I get to that campus or how do I get to that location? Which would be the case if I were trying to go to this location in France at the moment because I've never been to France and I have no idea where Rue de Cambrai is. Um, but I see there's two buildings there. I can click on the buildings and now that opens up an actual floor view that I can see. So a little bit different look and feel than what you just saw on the portal using mapped in. This is using the indoor mapping utility and then I can move between floors and see what spaces and stuff are available. So again, this is the configuration side of things. If I wanted to actually go in and manage uh, those campuses and buildings, I can come in, redraw those polygons for what that location actually looks like. So adjusting that. I can go in and look at the floor plan sources. So these two are coming in from AutoCAD and the campus is completed. If I go to the actual floors and floor plans, um, let's go to building A, you can see I can kind of add floors here. I can edit them, change the information about those floors. And importantly, um, my head's gonna be in the way for this one too. Notice I've got these options over here to add a source or configure them. So the source being a file, probably a CAD file or something like that. But if I go in and configure it, I've got some options now to upload the file and then edit that georeference. So if I wanted to change where that particular floor is located, um, I can change that you know, using the map that you just saw earlier where I was dragging a polygon around. Here you get these push pins and these push pins, you can kind of resize the floor, um, make it, you know, fit it inside the building, whatever, um, to work with that. 
the important part here, and this is getting into a little bit of configuration, but I think this is neat to show that you have now capability to do this in platform instead of having a separate subscription service, to come in and specify the layers of your CAD drawing and what they are. So here we see the building type, furniture, and the actual rooms. And if you want to see the different things you can do, um, you can do that there. And then you can even preview from the drawing. Okay, what does that look like? Oh, that's the building. Okay, what are the desks actually look like? Oh, that's what the desks actually look like. What do the room outlines look like? Okay, there they are. So those were separate layers in the CAD drawing. And then you have your metadata, so your, your actual information. Again, this is getting a little bit technical, but I'll just show here where you can actually do the polygon selection, so selecting that particular layer, and then pull in the actual information from the, the AutoCAD file. And you see here that ServiceNow has taken the AutoCAD entity handle and the source name, or actually the name, and concatenated that using this dash. So when it shows up on the picture of the portal, you can actually see um, what that location is, or in this case, what that room number and room name is. So that's indoor mapping. They've platformed an application so you can bring in your floor maps, do the configuration yourself, don't have to have a separate service or separate subscription with mapped in in order to maintain your floor plans in service now for workplace service delivery, reservation management, and space management. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.